Well, I think it's fantastic. Uh, I mean, we we are regulars to the UAE and we played in these grounds in this environment before. But to come over here for the T10 is uh, pretty amazing. And uh, Team Abu Dhabi, you know, we've got a great bunch of boys. Uh, everyone's uh, a tight. I mean, we are a very tight unit. So looking forward to the tournament. I think it, it comes down to playing good cricket. I think, it, like I said, it's the shortest format, so you never know what's going to happen. So everyone's got to be sharp. I don't think there's any team that's a favourite right now. It all depends how well you do on that particular day. And we've always seen with the shorter format of the game, uh, anybody can beat anybody on that particular day. So. Brilliant. I mean, it's been a great uh, couple of days just getting into their minds, talking to them, just, uh, you know, being in this environment. It's pretty fantastic. I think as a cricketer uh, from an associate country, uh, you, these kind of environments really help you to, you know, become better because there are a lot of, you know, uh, coaches out there, a lot of information being shared around. So, yeah, uh, pretty nice. Uh, I think every time you go out there and score runs, uh, it's fantastic, you know, especially when you're on the winning side. Uh, as a cricketer, you put, go out there, put in your best effort with, with, with bat ball or on the field. So for me, it was always about putting in that effort and there's no particular innings that actually stands out. So it, it's all about going out there and, uh, you know, getting those runs, getting those wickets, taking those catches to win matches for your team. Uh, uh, I have a lot of good batters. Uh, like Virat Kohli is a fantastic bat, uh, Joe Root uh, like, likes a bench strokes when he's, in, when he's in full flow. So these are the kind of batters, uh, you know, right now they're doing very well and Barbar Azam's been doing pretty well of late as well. So a lot of good batters out there. Uh, well, I mean, we've got a good bunch of batters right now. I think Dipendra Singh Ayeri, uh, Arif Sheikh, uh, Pawan Sharaf. You know, these are probably the three youngsters who are you know, doing very well right now and I hope they can continue because international cricket is such that you need to keep performing and uh, looking at the work ethics that they're putting in, I'm sure there'll be you know, names to be heard in the future. I've never had idols as such. Uh, just I was, I played all kinds of sports growing up. It is football, cricket, basketball, athletics, everything. So uh, I, I still do watch a lot of cricket. I mean, a lot of do watch a lot of football, and that way, uh, I mean, if you really ask me, a sporting hero would probably be Steven Gerrard. I'm a big Liverpool fan, so. That, that's how I've supported that team. But besides that, I mean, I followed the Australian cricket team, the way you know they, they played growing up, the kind of attitude that they showed. Uh, I think that really set a benchmark for you know all teams you know moving forward. I mean, between Salah and Mane, I'll probably pick Mane. I'm mean, Salah's pretty good, but it's the whole team that I'm I'm a big fan of and I support them. If you had if I had to pick one player from that team, it, it had to be Sadio Mane. I think it has to be Lords, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, out after Kathmandu, obviously, because nothing beats playing at the TU International Cricket Grounds with, you know, jam-packed people out there supporting us, chanting your country's name, chanting your names. If, if, if it's outside Nepal, it has to be Lords. We hope to grow as a cricketing nation. I think uh, we're a young cricketing side. Uh, hopefully, now that we have a Cricket Association of Nepal uh, management in place, we can put right structures in place. Uh, there will definitely be a lot of noise that Nepal cricket will be creating. But like I said, we got a good bunch of cricketers uh, who are very eager and passionate to go out there and perform. And as long as we can keep performing on the field, uh, we'll definitely create a lot of buzz going around. Martian Nadalanga yesterday, he's bowling pretty quick, like 145, 150 yesterday. And probably had to have to be Wahab Riaz. Uh, I remember when Wahab had come to Nepal, it was around 2008, he was young, 18 year old, 19 year old was the steaming in. And would probably, he would probably be the fastest that I've faced. Just got to keep pushing yourself. Obviously, from a cricketer from an associate nation has to dream big. You have to keep pushing yourselves. And for us, it's, you know, uh, Nepal cricket is an example of uh, irrespective of even nothing's there for us to support. I think the passion that the players and the coaches have shown, we have somehow managed to reach where we are today. So for young cricketers out there, I just need to keep grinding, be determined and have that big dream, you know, of trying to aim for the highest level.